Here we have a question for rational root theorem. They ask which one of the following is not a possible rational root of this huge long polynomial. If you remember, rational root theorem says it's a possible solution of this polynomial is lies into the p over q, where p is the possible um, numbers consist of for 15. So p here we have plus minus 1, plus min all the factors, plus minus 1, 3, 5, and 15. Okay, And then q is the, the leading coefficient. Okay, So it's plus minus 3, and then plus minus 1. Okay, so all the possible answers um, th you have to p over q, and the list of the possible rational zeros we were given are minus 5. Okay, so we're checking minus 5, see if it's possible. Uh, minus 3, see if it's possible. We'll put a question mark here. Minus 1 over 3, if it's possible, and 1 over minus 5, if it's possible. Okay, let's examine those. Um, see what happens to those. Let's move it up a little bit. Okay, so let's see. Minus five. Yes, we can get minus five by have a plus minus fifteen divided by plus minus three. So minus five is possible. We'll put a check mark on there. Is minus three possible? Well, plus minus fifteen. Um, oh, here's plus minus three and divided by plus minus one. So that one is also possible. One third. Well, we can have this one over this one, so that it is possible. Minus 5, however, is not a possible because there's no 5 on the denominator according to the rational root theorem. Because it has to be in the form of p over q. A student always always asks me, how do you remember it's p over q? How do we remember it's the possible factor of 15 divided by 3, not the other way around. A good way to think is, think of this long polynomial as, as a snake. Okay, so I have a snake head over here, and then it windows down to a little tiny tail. Okay, so I always tell my students, is the tail bite the head? Okay, so P over Q, it's always tail bite the head. All right, hope it helps. Have a confident day.